Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Zave Tech and today is a bit different video which I would like to talk about. Have you ever had issues with your TV, especially Samsung TV? Like your TV just isn't turning up. Well, this is just a right video to watch. I will try to help you guys out to fix your TV. But if it doesn't work, then you have to ask the mechanic to fix or buy a new one. So there's four options provided. Anyway, let's get right into it. The first option. For those having issues with your TV just isn't turning on, try to unplug your main socket and let your TV rest for half hour. If it didn't work, then move on to the second step. So you have to place your TV on a fed area. Basically, you can put a soft mat under it and start to feel like an engineer for a few minutes because you're gonna do some work on it. So you have to knot all the screwed areas and prepare your tools. Basically, the tools you'll be needing is a screwdriver, a box, or anything you can place your screws on it to keep it safe, you know, to make it more organized. A cutter, a voltage screw te uh, screwdriver tester uh, is just an optional, and a voltage indicator for expert. If you're an expert or you want to be an expert, anyway, and a marker, any marker. I'm for instead, I'm using a correction tape here uh, because it's one of the uh, cheapest and one of the like the most useful thing which I can really figure it out So let's get right into it mark all the screwed area and carefully remove the screws Try to go along with the direction to make things easier after removing separate the screws in groups Smaller screws on one side and the other in other side next carefully remove the back cover after that, you will be able to see what's inside your TV and then you have to figure out which one to fix by looking at the damaged area. Carefully remove the connectors so the voltage will turn to zero. As E1, without connecting to main socket, it is still insecure until you remove the connectors. Once you remove the connectors, then remove all the screws attached to the board. With extreme care, pick it up and check under a good lightning which area is damaged in the board. So basically you won't be able to figure it out so well so that's why you have to continue to watch this video. Such as my situation, nothing is damaged except this white box. But it's not a must that your issue will be the same as mine. So you can basically look at the capacitor and replace it, uh, replace them if any leak or damage found. You may consider taking a look at your fuse or replacing it without going through long process. Remember to replace them with the same power and voltage with the new one. Don't insert a all capacitor guys. The third option which is for basically for expert or maybe if you really want to uh, save your budget so this is what you're going to do. If you would like to go more deep then you have to uh, have the right materials. Then check the capacitor with the right materials and their voltage with voltage indicator. Make sure your indicator is in DC mode. The V with the straight line means DC mode. Place the black lead on the ground source. Place the black lead on the ground source and the red on the connector by considering a standby pin. You can get your info of currents in your TV and make sure the current or STB doesn't cross more than the limit provided by your TV. Or if your current is keep dropping to zero and increase then check your capacitor. It might be damaged or blown capacitor. Bad capacitors. If you face this problem then you will have to change the capacitor or the fuse. Also make sure your fuse is working properly by the indicators. Sometimes fuse plays a main role on these issues. If it's less than minimum requirement then you might have to change your whole motherboard or logistic board or the specific thing. Hence check out the main areas. The more areas you check out in your TV the more you get to learn your TV damage per place and then you might simply just have to replace it. Sometimes your IC. Yes guys, sometimes your IC has discoloration, the like burn mark or you can't see the number on it. Then it's best to replace the main logic board. Once complete, put back all the screws and let your TV rest for 5 minutes or maybe more. And then plug it to your socket. The fourth option guys, it's kinda serious but if after all this method it didn't work, then it's time to contact a mechanic or buy a new device. You did your best trying to fix uh, this thing in budget. There's no other option you can find our all internet to fix this thing. So I hope this ca video came useful and if it didn't trust me more videos are coming up guys. We improve every single day guys and remember to like and subscribe this video and share to your friends if they really need help on this. Peace out.